what the heck is a good way to stop losing the tools for your tools. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Well, you get a new tool and you get a tool that goes along with that tool, in this case a little wrench in order to change the bit on this uh, compact router. This is a little rigid, uh, I love this thing, I'll put a uh, link in the description down below for it. So I just keep a, a pattern bit in there for, for a trim bit. But anyway, you get your new router, you get your new whatever it is, it comes with a tool, you set it up, you put the tool in a drawer somewhere, Next time you want to set up your router, you, you look and look and look and look for where that tool is. Now maybe you're better organized than that, but I know a lot of us, it takes us a while to catch on, to learn. Here's a suggestion, if I might. Simply take some ties. You can buy them by the hundreds for next to nothing on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I, I'm sure that's where I got it. And put a little loop on it. Get it over your electrical cord and then loop it tight enough that it will slide up and down your cord but it won't go over the the uh, electrical part then put a loop through that loop don't forget to attach your tool your tool's probably got something on it designed for hanging it up or doing stuff. So put that tool on there. Don't pull it too tight because then this is more difficult to use with the cord. So just give it a big loop like this. You might want to trim off these extra edges, but you know, grab a pair of scissors and then cut those off. And now I will never lose that tool for that tool. That's just a quick tip from the small workshop guy. This is one of our What the Heck Is series of videos designed for beginners. And so put that idea into play and you'll never lose a tool again. Small workshop guy, hoping you'll be safe in your workshop. Always remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. <music>